half inch, half inch, half inch. Because we're going to fold it in half. I think that would have been my first clue. Then we take it. A little bit of water or alcohol or whatever you happen to have. And we're going to fold it in half. I'm going to cut off these edges. Fold it in half. So now it's a quarter of an inch. Now be careful you don't squish this fold here. Because if you do, then it's going to crack and look funny. Oh, I got chocolate in my nails. That looks silly. Okay, and we want these literally an inch to an inch and a half long. You don't want them real long. So, because um, we're making little tiny roses. So, and I make them all different. Some an inch, some an inch and a half. You can make them different thicknesses too if you want. Okay, and then we just take them. This is the folded edge. So you're gonna take it and you're gonna curl that around and just roll it along. Okay, a little bit of water at the end. And that's it. That's all there is to it. You can pinch the back if you want. And we just need to make a bazillion of these. So again, you just make that nice and tight and you just roll it along. And see, this is how I like to make the buds. A little one inch long strip makes nice little buds. These little tiny buds and then the bigger ones make the bigger. But I like the little buds. Okay. be cute. Cute little things. Okay, so you need to make about a bazillion of those. So here's my chocolate, and again, you can use any size you want. I'm going to start with the smallest one here, because I want little tiny ones to go with my little tiny roses. And all you do is just cut it out, okay? And then here at the bottom, at the rounded part, you're just going to take it and pinch it together. That's it. Done. And it's kind of neat because you can do, here I'll do a big one too. You can do any size. And if they don't stick, you can just put a little dab of water down at this base. But it's just, you got to remember, it's down, the rounded edge is actually the base of the leaf. So all you do is just pinch those two together, just like that. Here's a big one. Pinch it together. Done. Okay, so I have a straw here that I'm just gonna insert into my cake. And then I'm gonna have put a little bit of frosting down that straw. Just pipe it down. And put a little piece of black fondant over it so it's not so obvious that it's, if it were chocolate frosting, it'd be no big deal. And then I'm gonna take my wire and stick that in there. And that should hold it in place, okay? And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill in with my red roses. So I've got bigger ones that I can put on the top if I want. Bigger ones of these. And I'm going to cut them because they're a little, whoop, because they're a little thick. That one broke. That's okay. Let's see. I can put little roses up here. And then I can add these little leaves. I can get my fingers on them. And just use a little frosting to fix them on there so that they don't slide around or anything. Okay, and we're just gonna keep adding these on. Now, I want them nice and thin, so what I've been doing with these is, even though they're a quarter inch, I mean, that's as small as I can do it with my fingers. I've actually been cutting them in half again. And I normally do it when they're wet, but they're little tiny roses. And then just do them. And you can do them in ones, singles. And you can even cut these down too if you want. Let's 
it's got a big pinch there, you can actually cut, cut it down or use a smaller cutter. So you can do singles or you can do them in threes also, which is my preferred way of doing it. See, let me just add them on there. Okay. I prefer doing them in threes. 